Hello, this is Captain Marty with North Shore Charters in the beautiful San Juan Islands, uh, Washington State. I'm going to talk a little bit about local fishing for folks who may want to visit the San Juan Islands and do a little fishing from shore, or maybe they're bringing their own boat, or they want to come up and do some lake fishing. So I'm going to start with the freshwater fishing options here in the San Juan Islands. Orcas and San Juan Island both have really, really good trout lakes available for the local people to go fishing in. They, San Juan Island has uh, lakes that are both stocked with bass and trout. Uh, those lakes are at, at Lake Dale Resort. Lake Dale Resort on San Juan offers uh, all means of accommodations. So if you're coming up with your family and you either want a tent camp or if you want to stay, they have, they have wall tents available. They have RV camping. They even rent, if you want to sleep in an RV but you don't have one, you come up and rent one from them. and That's probably actually cheaper than pulling yours across on the ferry. Um, they also have uh, cabins available to rent, really nice cabins, and I believe they even have tents so you can rent a tent if you like. On Orcas Island, Marin State Park offers um, Cascade Lake and Mountain Lake, which are pretty large alpine-style lakes that are stocked with trout annually. They they do allow uh, human powered boats or electric motor powered boats on on the lake, but the use of the petroleum powered motors are are prohibited. So it's either oars or elect or uh, the electric motor. Uh, there's there's also fishing available at certain beaches if you want to do some saltwater shore fishing. There are certain beaches that allow it uh, certain times of the year depending on uh, what's running at that time. Uh, fishing during the late summer season, fishing for salmon off of Crescent Beach on uh, Orcas Island can be pretty productive. We have a king salmon run that comes through there as well as a coho salmon, and they're uh, they're heading into. We have a hatchery in East Sound, so the fish are running in there. If you're uh, so, you could potentially at high tide, you know, wade out into Crescent Beach and uh, and use buzz bombs and and uh, Point Wilson darts to cast out and and see if you can't catch a fish. Uh, fishing from the shore, you're not allowed to uh, to catch or target rockfish anymore, uh, which is uh, something that um, used to be fairly typical that people would go out and try and catch rockfish, but that's prohibited. We can't catch them. We can't target them. We can't even take them out of the water, so you have to be very, very careful of that. You don't want to get caught with a illegal fish uh, by fishing game because that could get pretty expensive. There is the potential for catching uh, kelp greenling or cavazon, smaller ones from the beach, which that those are really, really fun fish to catch and really, really good fish to eat. Greenling are probably actually my favorite white fish to eat in the San Juan Islands. You do want to be careful if you're fishing from shore. Uh, you, you probably end up losing a lot of fishing gear if you're not careful because the shorelines are extremely rocky and there's lots of, we have lots of life and starfish and what not living down there that they're eager to snag your lures and break your line and stuff. That's something you want to make sure you bring a fishing tackle with you if you're going to spend the day fishing. Moran State Park, which I mentioned earlier with Cascade Lake and Mountain Lake, they have lots of RV and tent camping available. Uh, they have concession stands out there. They also have uh, small rowboats that you can rent for fishing. And there, there's places all around the lakes that are fairly deep right from the shoreline, so you can also usually have pretty good luck fishing from the docks or the shoreline. They have group campsites available at Moran State Park. Those campsites, though, you want to, if you're coming in the summertime, you definitely want to call ahead and make reservations, which you can uh, find the numbers for that at the Washington State Department of uh, Parks. Um, their website will have the phone numbers that you need to call to place your reservation. As far as saltwater fishing from a boat, um, I, was, I mentioned earlier that the rockfish was the rockfish were illegal, so you want to make sure that you have a copy of the Washington State uh, fishing regulations, so you can identify all the fish that you catch and you know whether they're a legal fish to retain or not. If you're fishing from a boat, a rowboat, or something from the shoreline, if you use a smaller lure, uh, this is an important technique to use if you're to avoid catching the rockfish. The rockfish usually go for a larger a larger lure, whereas the greenling will, if you use a small lure, they have a really small mouth, so they're you're way more likely to catch a greenling, which are plentiful and legal to catch if you're using a really small lure. 
So keep that in mind. If you have too big of a lure, the green wing can't get it, and all you're going to do is catch rockfish, which you don't want to do. If you're going to get a little bit more serious about it, you want to bring your own boat across on the ferry, um, you have a couple of options. You can either tow it on the ferry, which will cost you an average of probably about $200 to bring a, a, a 21 to, to 25 foot boat across on the ferry. Um, or you could launch, you could launch it in Anacortes and boat it out and, and just drive it out to the islands. The only thing you want to make sure that you have a place to moor it. Um, so you want to make reservations ahead of time. Some of the places to check for moorage on Orcas Island might be a Smuggler's Villa. They have a dock available. West Beach Resort has docks available. Beach Haven Resort on Orcas Island has uh, mooring bowls available. Uh, Deer Harbor and Rosario Resorts on Orcas Island both have uh, dock space available. You don't have to be staying at those places, but you can call them and, and arrange moorage before you come out here. On San Juan Island, there's, there's lots of moorage available on San Juan Island. There's Friday Harbor, uh, Roche Harbor and Snug Harbor that are all on San Juan Island that has plenty of dock space. If you're staying anywhere close to those places, you can call ahead and arrange something. As far as, as where and what when it comes to the salmon fishing in the San Juan Islands, I would, um, you know, I could go on for days and days about that, but, um, I, I can tell you that a lot of people fish these waters for years without getting a single bite. Um, others, people are born with the luck and they get out there and catch their limit the first time they go fishing. So it's kind of a, it's a toss up that way. What I always try and point people to the uh, Salmon University website, which has an, it's an incredible resource for first timers as well as, as pro anglers that they'll give you a fish report. They'll tell you, you know, what lures and combinations are, are hot. And, you know, they'll even tell you where, you know, where the fish are running and, there's plenty of blogs on there. There's lots of comments from local fishermen, and I think that's probably the best resource available uh, for people who want to go out and try and catch fish. Um, otherwise, if you study your charts, you can kind of see based on where the currents and uh, the tides are running in, where the eddy, eddies are happening throughout the San Juans. You may be able to see, uh, based on that, where where the hot spots would be. Most typically, the hot spots going to be if, if you're really limited on time and you have the means, my advice would be go straight out to the west side of San Juan Island, out to uh, Eagle Point. That's uh, usually where all the fish are coming coming in. When they come in from the Pacific Ocean on their, their migratory routes, that's the first place they hit. So you might as well just go out there, and, and that's probably most local fishermen would tell you the best place. If you're, um, if you're just here for a few days, you don't have time to, you know, go to all the hot spots. That's the best one. There's uh, also lots of great articles online. Okay, so anyway, if you're if you're armed with all the information that I just gave you there, and you um, spend a little time reading through the Salmon University website, um, you should you should be able to do pretty well. And I'm always available to call and pick my brain if you want. Um, my website's orcasislandadventures.com. If you want to call, my number is three six zero three seven six four eight five five. You know, if I have the time, I have no problem uh, chatting about the local fishery and what's hot and what's not. Anyway, I'd like to conclude this with the advice to pay close attention to the weather, weather reports and the sea conditions as things up here can happen really fast and you don't want to get stuck out in bad situations that you're not prepared for. And so, again, this is Captain Marty with North Shore Charters, OrcasIslandAdventures.com. Feel free to give me a call if you have any questions. And um, otherwise, enjoy your trip to the San Juan Islands. Tight lines.